So my expertise is in entrepreneurship, and I have been fortunate to have run my business for 20 years plus. And so I know the importance of bringing practice into the classroom. And um, however, also as an academic, I understand that we need to have theoretical underpinnings for some of the things that we teach in class so that the students can, you know, go back, link it back to theory and make sense of it um, for onward use. So I see cases as a fantastic way to nexus practice, research, and teaching. And so what I'm hoping to get from this case um, teaching scholarship is to become more adept at it. I want to be great at it. I mean, if it's something that is really this important, that is going to be beneficial to my students and also a way for me to output some of my research, I think it's great that I do it well. And also, um, in addition to being better at being a case method um, teacher, I, I have a philosophy of learning that um, believes that learning is incomplete if it hasn't been shared or transferred. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to take some of the learnings from this scholarship and also extend it to some of my colleagues and such that it won't just be me that is the good case study teacher, but as a faculty, we'll be able to um, become very good at delivering case studies and maybe improve even our student experience. So earlier in the year, I think it was in celebration of World Case Teaching Day, I saw a thread about celebrating case um, method. And um, it's I, I was interested in it because in November, you know, I was one of those people that watched the Barbie movie a number of times. And I had written a one page case, which I delivered to my students. And, uh, you know, it was a fun time. So I talked about this in the post on LinkedIn and somebody saw the post and asked if I could share the one place case with her. I did. And she suggested that I apply for the scholarship, which I did. And so um, what am I expecting from participating in the scholarship? Since reading on your site about what the case center does, I am excited about, you know, joining this community of practice and learning vicariously from all the colleagues um, within the case center. And more than that, I'm also excited about learning formally in the workshop that is happening later in the year. And then I love the fact that I get to be mentored one on one by an expert. Come on, that is exciting. And um, I think lastly, I love the fact that somebody will get to give me um, feedback, you know, constructive feedback on one of the cases that I deliver and use um, this, you know, uh, to further enhance what I do. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. I know in my heart that I'm not going to be the same at the end of the scholarship. So I applied to get better and better I hope to get. Um, so I think I'll just summarize those two major concerns, really. The first one is the fact that at the very first time that I taught with a case, I, it was actually a group of practitioners, a government program called Help to Grow Management, and I was facilitating one of the case, um, cases on that program. And, you know, I struggled to balance the time spent explaining the case with drawing out the lessons and discussing. And so I, I know that there must be a formula on how much I should spend with the case, how much I should allow the students to feedback, whether practitioners or um, uh, university students, and how we bring in the theory. And I would like to be able to, yeah, become better at, you know, using my time wisely while I'm delivering cases. Um, I think the second thing that I would say is participation. You, will, you know, they are always going to be the talkative people in class and the ones that pull back. And while with some of my teaching, what I generally do is I bring charts and all the sort of things in. I don't know how to incorporate that into a case yet. So I would like to learn more about how to increase participation in a way that doesn't look like that's what I'm doing, in a way that just looks like it's part of the case and, you know, people just feel confident um, and comfortable to, to, um, to talk 
in class. I remember a case, another case that I wrote a while back, and it was on, um, you know, with the small animals had started picking up disposable vapes and pretty much they were getting high. <laughs> and students love that. So I wonder if it's because of the relativ relatability to the students that they were able to engage in that or whether it was the way I delivered the case. But whatever the reason, I would like to be able to learn to increase participation in my class um, as well as be more time conscious in the way that I schedule the case.